Good day, welcome to this online video tutorial. Now that we have set up our EndNote 7 library, this video will show you how to manually add references as well as previewing the reference. There are three ways on how you can add a reference. First, you can either click on the green plus sign. On the menu, you can select References, New Reference. Or you can right click and click on New Reference. A new worksheet will open. We will now manually add a reference for a book. You must first select the correct type of source that you are adding. Click on the little drop down arrow and select the reference type. The correct fields for a book will now display. You can decide how much detail you want to add in the worksheet, but you need to add at least the following required fields. The author, the year, the title, the edition if it is available, the place of publication and the publisher. So let's add the information. The author, Smith John. The format is very important. It is the surname, comma, space, full name or initial. And if there are more than one author, they must be on their own line. So use the enter tab to add a second author. The year, you only type in the year, the title, remember the correct capitalization for the title. Place of publication is Pretoria, publisher, we have Tutor, and we have a second edition. So we only add second. The edition will be added automatically. If you are sure you have all the information, then you can save the reference, click on File, Save, and then click on the small cross to close your reference. You will now see the, your first reference in your EndNote library. On the right hand side, under the Reference Preview option, you will see how the reference will be displayed in your Word document according to the TUT Harvard referencing technique. Now we will add a journal article. Again click on the green plus sign under references new reference you can either control plus new or right click new reference and again the worksheet will open. We are now going to add a journal article. So make sure that your reference type is a journal article. Again, you can decide how much detail you want to add in the worksheet, but you need to add the following fields and only add what you can find on the periodical or article. Do not make up your own information. Let's complete the fields, the author, we now have a corporate author. So you add the name in full and only after the name you will add the comma so that it will display correctly in your reference. The year, the title of the article, Then the title of the journal, the volume, issue, the pages, and the date. If you have a date, a month, you will abbreviate the month according to the TUT, Harvard referencing rules with a full stop. After adding the information, you can again, you need to save it, so file, save, or the short method is click on the small cross, 
and say, do you want to save the changes? Yes, save the changes. Now you will see that we have two references in our EndNote library. Again, under the preview button, if you select the reference, you will see how it will display in your Word document. If you see you have made a mistake, you can double click on the reference, go back to the where you need to update. If you forgot, it, forgot the initial, you just add it and save it again. And it will now update the reference. Please continue with the next video.